In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the best man beating concepts in Madden 23, and one of the best setups out of the tight slots halfback week if you are on the right hash mark. A lot of people like to run this with their running back to the short side. I'm gonna be showing you kind of a wide side setup that I like to use. Uh, in this video. And if you want to get my entire tight slots halfback week offensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be in the description. It's only 10 bucks to become a member. It'll get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Now we're in the Colts playbook today. And again, like I said, if you want to get the Colts ebooks on the Patreon, we're going over mesh spot out of the tight slots halfback week formation. Typically you would audible to this from the bunch formation, uh, but we're just going to come out in it today. And uh, what we're going to do is a fairly simple setup, but actually really effective, specifically against man coverage, uh, is we are going to put our left side receiver on a crosser. We are going to streak our right side receiver, uh, which is AJ Green, and then we're just going to block our tight end for extra pass protection. Now, what you're going to see here is if I run any kind of press man to man, um, if I don't have a safety over the top and you have the short out elite ability, you'll notice here that the bumping will kind of help. Another thing is that this route to the, the running back can get over the top of uh, man coverage. Uh, so that's something else real quick. Let me get into wide here and I'll show you kind of uh, more meta like what you're going to probably see. You know, so like let's say they have like something like this and then over here on the right side, um, you know, their users in the middle of the field and then, you know, we'll say uh, over here on the right side, maybe we have a third, right? So they do a defense kind of like looks like this. Now your crosser is pretty solid. Um, another route that's under, you could also take this guy here and put him on a slant, but the drag normally will do the job. And what you'll see here is you see this man switch glitch that oftentimes happens in this formation and you'll be able to hit, you know, Keith Byers over the top. If they're running like traditional where they're running three, three, five wide and maybe they're doing, you know, purples or they're doing just different adjustments with their safeties, right? Uh, maybe they're outside thirding them. In this example, we'll just show it with a deep half on this side. But what a lot of people will do is something like this over here on the left side. Again, if they do that, there are different types of man swaps that will happen with them play mesh spot, uh, and it can cause random random bumping. Now, the bumping is also, uh, typically if they're pressing you and press man to man, the bumping is going to be a thing that you have to pay attention to. So if they're, get a, if they're truly giving you like a press man uh, style look, one minor thing that I would recommend um, because of this, uh, because of this bumping problem, uh, bumping has been an issue literally all year long. And let's say that this guy's like in a, like a third or something like that. If they are running something like this, one of the things that I would recommend is taking AJ Green here and just putting him on a, uh, a streak, but basically instead of a crosser, have a post. And the reason why is, is literally just because of the bumping. If it's a crosser, um, if he gets bumped, the spacing, they'll run into each other. The post won't run into him. So um, that is something else. Like again, and again, the other benefit of this is, let's say for example, now that let's say that they're giving you kind of a zone, more of a zone base uh, a look. Maybe it looks something like this right here. Um, if they're giving you more of a zone look, this is where the crosser becomes very valuable because of the depth. The crosser just gets deeper down the field than the post does, and it will get over the top of most standard zones in terms of how people want to run it. So you can throw that, as you can see, over the top. So now their user has to go to the right uh, side of the field to be able to stop that. And again, if they're running, you know, a lot of people right now, they're not, if they are running man, they're not running like hard flats, especially in man coverage. They're running something like a deep half, right, or something like that. So the benefit of this is, let's say that they use with the post or use with the crosser, this drag is pretty consistent to get some man-to-man -man separation, as you can see right there. Now, again, this short out elite ability over here on the right side, I believe AJ Green, he might not have short out elite maybe. That's why he's not getting that light up animation. But if you put short out elite over here, he'll get over the top of uh, press man if there's no safety help. Uh, the other thing is you see right here, the running back can just cook man coverage. And that's really the benefit of the, of the route combo is it gives you the ability to be able to isolate that left side of the screen um, and give the running back a, a ton of space against man coverage. Again, um, you often will actually get man sw swap off uh, things happening as well uh, within this against man coverage. 
Again, just for um, just for the sake of illustration, I do want to show if we were to flip. Let's say we flip the play. You can run it over here as well. It's not. It's the same setup. Uh, but what you'll take a look here, if you look at Harold Carmichael, we'll see how he gets that light up. Now he's able to get over the top. Now again, because we blocked our tight end, there was a third defender. But if you have short out of lead, he's going to get over the top of that of that route. This is also a really good setup uh in case you're, you're running into people that are running match so if they run any kind of match coverage on this typically this crosser um is just going to get super open over here to the sideline now if they have a ko which everyone seems to have ko's right now uh all you gotta do is ag basically away from the ball so let me show you that real quick so you'll see here essentially if you get something like this you can kind of get it all the way to the sideline like that um go ahead and do that but Typically, like you can just you can basically just ag this uh, over the middle of the field, whether it be the post version, and you can run the you can kind of again the crosser version is mainly valuable because it gets over the top of any kind of zone drop. If they're not running zone drops, right, then you can you can go to something like the post and have a little bit more consistency um, in terms of how it's going to get open against man or match, and then obviously your drag route as well. So again, here I can high ball. I'm kind of butchering the free form, but, but basically um, you can have that as well. So the other thing is from what I've noticed is, is people will adjust their match coverage a lot. So sometimes that left side won't, he won't even travel with him. Um, it does depend a little bit on what they're doing from an adjustment perspective. Again, please feel free to check down over here. Um, but this is what I'm talking about. See how I ag back and the KO can't really knock it out. That's a little tip as well uh, to just make sure that this remains consistent for you. But all in all, this is one of my favorite plays. One of the reasons why this play is so valuable is because it attacks the right sideline deep. There's not a lot of plays in tight slots, especially with your, when it's just a standard alignment like this. There's not a lot of plays in tight slots where that actually happens consistently. And so when you can attack that right sideline from the left side of the field, it really opens up a lot of your offense. Thanks for watching the video. Hope this was helpful. If you want to get my entire tight slots halfback week offensive ebook, head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.